For this project you'll need a pair of scissors, some floss, you'll need uh, an arrow, a bear shaft with fob and knock. This project only works with the Starflight fobs, it doesn't work if you have veins. You need some sort of bright colored yarn. Uh, you'll need, if I can grab it here, a large knitting needle. Sorry, not knitting needle, sewing needle. Uh, with large enough head to get the yarn through. And then you'll need some foam cylinders. I use quarter inch orange foam cylinders. They're for uh, fly fishing. Uh, they weigh almost nothing and they're great for this project. Okay, so the first step, you'll need a razor. Um, I also forgot to tell you in the, what you'll need. Uh, I use this uh, zinc rod that I got from the hardware store. Um, I use it as to push the I use it to push the yarn and the foam cylinder down into the base, down into the base of the arrow. But you could also use carefully a straightened coat hanger if you want. So the first step is to cut a piece of the foam cylinder and it doesn't have to be huge mine's about a quarter of an inch and it doesn't have to be straight and the next step once you have that is to thread your needle and uh, this is a little bit difficult but the best thing I've found to do is to twist the yarn as tightly as you can. Hold it as close to the end as you can with your fingers. And push it through. Like that. That's actually the hardest part of this project is to get this stupid needle threaded. Once you get the needle threaded, you can push it through the middle of the foam cylinder, thread it through, and then pull it with a little bit of force, pull it through, and you've got it there on the end of your yarn. To keep the foam cylinder, I mean, the foam cylinder is on there pretty well with a lot of friction, but to keep it from coming off, I tie a small overhand knot in the end of the yarn, push the cylinder down to the end. And again, this thing weighs almost nothing, and it doesn't change the flight of your arrow. So, once you have that down, then you're ready for the next step. So the next step is to measure out your yarn and give it a cut. So I do two times the length of my arrow. One. Two. You don't need much more than that. I've done three before, but Three times the length of the arrow is difficult to get all that yarn into the arrow. Um, and it makes it, the harder you have to push it in there, the harder it is for the arrow to deploy, or for the yarn to deploy at the end. So now you have your, have your yarn. It's twice the length of your arrow. You can put the foam cylinder in the arrow and you'll see that this fits really nicely. I'm using um, Beeman ICS Bow Hunters. They're a carbon arrow and it fits perfectly in there. You used, I use my um, tungsten or my zinc rod, sorry, it's a 3 16 rod that I got at the hardware store. But you can just as easily, if you're careful, you can just as easily use a coat hanger. I'm going to just push that rod, or that foam core, all the way down until it stops, being gentle, knowing that these arrows are about $10 a piece if you buy them cut, with the inserts in. 
there you have it. When your arrow is deployed in the woods, this is what you're going to see. You're going to see all that yarn out in the leaves, and it makes it a lot easier, um, a lot easier to find in the woods. So the next step, I'm going to turn it around because I'm left-handed. I'm trying to show you from a right-handed perspective, but it's not working. So the next thing to do is just like a little muzzle loader, pack your yarn down, and again, you just want to be gentle. Too much friction. I grab it here when I'm pulling it out so that the the rod doesn't pull it out. When you're pulling the rod out, just put it all the way down in there. Leave a little bit hanging out. Leave a little bit hanging out because I need to attach the floss. Okay, so what I've done is I've attached a short six inch piece of floss to the end of the string, to the end of the yarn, and that's what's going to help deploy the yarn when, uh, when the arrow hits through the animal. So a couple of overhand knots here is all you really need to hold it on. I'm going to put the yarn all the way in so it doesn't come back out. I've had this come back out on me. It's kind of a pain in the butt. Now you need your fob. Remember, you can only do this arrow deployment with the Starflight fobs. I don't know any other way to do it. But it's a really cool um, way of doing uh, finding your arrow in the woods. So put the floss through the center of the fob. fob on the arrow. Sometimes the yarn comes out a little bit. Not a problem. Put it back in with your rod. Put your knock back on. Make sure it's pressed tightly. It's got a little bit of floss left over there, which is fine. I use un unwaxed floss because there's no scent to it. Uh, clip it off short so it doesn't get in the way of your knock. There you have it. Your uh, arrow trailer deployment. When it hits, when the arrow goes through the animal, pops off the knock and the fob, deploys the string into the woods, makes your arrow easy to find. So now, next, all we have to do is go outside and see if it works. Okay, it's the day after we built the um, bobbed arrow trailer, and I'm here at the indoor range, and we're going to shoot that same arrow that we just built last night. We're going to shoot it through our paper tuner. I've set up three layers of cardboard in the paper tuner. That should do enough to pop the fob off. It's going to go through the arrow trailer, or through the pass-through target, stick back here into the target and we should see uh, the yarn trailer come out if we did everything right. Okay, I just took my shot and you can see the fob here on the floor where it's supposed to be. We'll pick up the fob and we'll walk over to the pass-through target and see what happened. So you can see the hole in the pass-through target and you can see the fob imprint on the cardboard which is good, it hits hard. Uh, that means uh, that hopefully we pulled it out, and we did. We pulled out the yarn, just like it would be, and if uh, this were out in the forest, you'd see all that yarn laying in the woods, laying on the leaves, laying in the bushes, somewhere to help you find your arrows. Now, people sometimes complain that with their fobs, they lose their arrows in the woods, and the arrow sticks under the duff. But with this, you can see it's going to make it a lot easier to find uh, to find your arrow. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any, um, leave comments, any improvements, let me know. And we'll see if we can uh, keep improving on this design. Thanks.